hello and welcome back again to my kitchen so in today's video i'm going to be showing how i make this delicious and tasty catfish and goat meat stew so if you want to see how i make this please keep watching don't forget to drop your like your comment and subscribe to my channel so first let me introduce you to what we use to achieve this so you'll be needing some tomato seed fresh pepper onion Lucas beans for the okra, paprika, some strips, some okra. So people have been asking me for that monkey. That is my seasoning. Okay. I'm trying this zoomy oil for the first time. Okay. Some wash and clean goat meat and the skin. And also wash catfish. People say I bleach this catfish. Did I bleach this catfish with organic cream? <laughs> drop a comment for me please so i had all my protein in the pot had the fresh pepper had your seasoning okay you also had some sliced onion the food have to taste good and we are cooking this without water in this channel we cook our meat without water okay so i set it on fire to cook then i slice my okra like this okay and this one i'm going to be blending it to be smooth while the main part of the okra i'll just rough blend it okay you will see the difference very soon this is it okay so to have that creamy and slimy okra you do it like that so i blend my tomato all my pepper mix together to give it that nice color and look at my meat it has bring out this own water okay guys the food have to taste good look good and smell good <laughs> in another pot i had in my cooking oil having some sliced onion having some garlic and ginger paste then i had my tomato paste okay then i'm just going to be frying this until it is well very fried then i had my pepper mix Look at the color, it's pumpy and I love that oil. So my review of this oil is it's a very nice oil. So I set this on fire to cook. We are not going to be frying this. That is why I fried my tomato paste very well. You just cook it, then you had your cooked meat. Okay, had the skin, then you cover and cook. As you can see, I did not have maggi or salt. So for the okra, I had in my lucas beans to a boiling water. I had in my crayfish, the big crayfish. <laughs> then I covered this to cook. Then I had in my blend okra, guys. I had the blend okra. So for the stew, I did not have extra maggi or salt. So I'm going to be adding it to the fish. That is the trick. <laughs> And my soup is almost ready. It's time to add our fish. So I had in my catfish like this. Okay. <laughs> is that not looking good already? Is that not a perfect stew for rice, spaghetti, indomie, and okra? Okay, look at my stew. It's, it looks good. And trust me, guys, it also smells good and tastes good. Drop your comment for me if what you think about my stew, okay? And for the okra, it's time to season the okra. Just add some salt and add some fresh pepper, then some seasoning. That. Then I give this a stir. When the stew was almost ready, then I had my strips. Then I covered. The catfish is cooked with the stew and everything is ready. Look at that. So perfect. It's ready. Thank you all so much for your love and your support. Don't forget to check out the other of my video at Daniela Kitchen. Like, share, subscribe and drop your own comment for me in the comment section. Did I kill this? Or <laughs> there is something I have to improve even if the food does not taste good it has to look good. nice thank you for watching and bye